What is going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome back to some more scrap mechanics. So today, ooh, today, today's gonna be exciting because we are gonna go check out possibly one of those uh, huge warehouses. Um, I don't know what's the deal with them. I don't know what they are, so we haven't checked them out at all. We're gonna do that, but we're also gonna do some basic maintenance -y things around our little base place now we did a live stream it was a fantastic time twitch.tv slash z1 game if you guys want to check out some live stream action we did some grindy bits and we did a little bit of reorganization so let's go over those real quick now this guy as you can see you can now pick up soil it's amazing you could actually pick up the soil now it's so good oh i love it but as you can see we only now have one hydro cannon and that's because we put it on a system of pistons and switches so i can water the first one by leaving it there i can activate that one da -da 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 -da. it's over the second crop plot so on and so forth so we can do ding 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 look at that guy look at him go look at him go now it is sagging a little bit as you can see uh so <laughs> but it's fine it's fine it completely works it's all right uh anyways so we did that looks super amazing and then we also did a little bit of uh, don't fall we did a little bit of base cleanup up here. Uh, everything's red now also because we got the paint gun and uh, basically you can use your paint gun. You can hit Q on it. You can pick what color you want. Um, and yeah, it's good to go. It's amazing. Anyways, so we did some reorganization. I now have some storage. I started storing things like this and I'm trying to keep things organized. We'll see how that goes. It probably won't last long, but hey, you know, it might, it might not. We'll just see. Uh, only time will tell. And then I also got a second uh, deal over here for the inputs uh, thing because this was getting full. It was getting backed up. Um, kind of organize some things so I can kind of see at a glance what I have. And we have a lot of stone. So I want to make some concrete. I want to make concrete because I think that's the only use for stone anyways. But concrete requires chemical. Well, chemical, I believe, is a bucket of chemicals. So I'm thinking that we might be able to actually set up a little auto harvester for that. Now, I want to um, I want to make that happen. I want to make that happen. I want to make it do its things. So the things we're going to need for that, I already have them. We have a vacuum pump. We have a large chest. You actually don't have to have it go into the container. So I want to swap my water one out for a large chest as well. A vacuum pipe. And we should have a switch. We need a switch. Let's see. Interactives. Okay. And a switch. Perfect. So those are the things I think we need to make our little chemical place. Our little chemical dealio. So we're going to start with that. And then we're going to go check out uh, the um, the warehouses and whatnot. Um, You know what? I need to move this. Hmm. So I kind of reset this up. Uh, this is like my little drilling station, but I want to take it off. You know what? Let's just do. Uh, it's gone. Oh shoot. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's okay. <laughs> it's fine. All right. So let's go find this chemical place. Now I think I actually have one semi close by. So we're gonna go check that guy out. Uh, how much fuel do we have in this thing? Golly, we have nothing. Um. Let's see. Fuel. Now, drag to adjust engine power. Now, if I turn the power down, does that require less fuel to run? I'm hoping it does. Or maybe is it just like a, a set thing where it's like when the engine's operating, it's going to require X amount of fuel over a distant, like a certain duration anyways. Do, it, like it doesn't matter how much power you're using. So uh, I don't know, but we're going to grab some fuel. We're going to take that with us as well. Do we have everything else? Ooh. Let's grab some building blocks. Let's grab, uh, we'll grab some stone building blocks too, because we're probably gonna have to build a stone thing. So, uh, all right, let's see. Let's hop down over here, hop down over here. Also, you know what? I, got, I have an amazing question for you guys. First of all, do you guys enjoy these videos? If you do, make sure you leave a like. If you do here, make sure you're subscribed as well for some more, of course, um, all those fun things. But did your guys' spawn look like mine or does it look like, do you guys have water right here is my question like if you cross the street is there literally like a little pond of water right there i'm super curious because i've seen a lot of people's bases like the first place is like that and mine is not <laughs> i'm super jealous so comment below let me know what kind of uh what kind of layout you have on yours but let's go ahead let's head over let's do the things i believe i think it's this way if i'm not mistaken actually i think i'm mistaken i don't think it's this way i think it's back this way now i thought we had one kind of over here ish i thought we did i thought it was like we followed this road and then we kind of we saw it in the distance i was like oh that's super cool i want to go check that out but uh we never actually went over there to check it out oh my gosh you know what i think it's right there and i think it's right next to this place isn't it um well guess what we have a warehouse right here uh all right let's start by looking at the warehouse then shall we <laughs> let's figure this guy out um let's go ahead and leave our, our vehicle over here um i want to make sure it's semi-safe let's go ahead and just throw it up here uh we'll throw it up in the air 
and hope that it doesn't get attacked while we're in here. All right, well, let's take a look at the uh, these manufacturing places, shall we? Because I've not actually peeked around these a whole lot. So what do we have? It looks like we have some tomatoes. It'd be so nice if we could like pop these open and just steal those. That'd be super cool. Um, <gasps> wait a second. Oh. Ooh. I'm taking all of this. Guys, we got a whole bunch of free blocks right here. This is super amazing. Look at all this free stuff. That's amazing. Oh, we can also scrap all this. Oh my gosh. Literally scrap mechanic. Oh, I'm super. Oh, wait, is that, is that the legend? That's the legendary tape bot. Oh, jeez. What? Oh my. Oh, oh, that guy destroyed me. Uh, holy moly. That guy wrecked my face. Oh, there's the chemical plant. It's actually super close to my house. Oh, it's like right here. It's right there. Okay, so that's where I actually really, that's where I was trying to go the first time. Uh, but then we got sidetracked and went to the warehouse. Okay, hold on, I gotta grab, I gotta grab some, I gotta grab some milk here. We need, we need some walk milk. All right, we're good enough on the walk milk. I wanna get over here before it's dark. Um, I'm scared that that tape bot's gonna destroy me again, to be completely honest. That thing wrecked my face without an issue whatsoever. Um, okay, so there's the chemicals and that's where I wanted to set up the pumps, but all the pump stuff's in my inventory, which is <laughs> kind of across the way over there. And so is my vehicle. Oh, uh, looks like we're gonna be swimming across the water. Wonderful. All right, I gotta get my, I gotta get my stuff back. Is that tape bot still right there? I don't see it. Oh, he's over there. Oh, I don't know what to do. That thing destroyed me so fast. I don't know if I can go up to it and hit it. Like if it's a one hit, uh-oh, uh-oh. No! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Uh-uh. No. Nope. No. Uh-uh. No, sir. No, sir. No! Oh, yes! <laughs> the game lagged up a little bit. I thought, oh, I thought I was gone. I thought I was gone for. Oh, that was so bad. It didn't even drop anything. Oh, that thing does so much damage. I want a tape gun. Guys, I want a tape gun. Okay. All right. Let's be careful here. All right, let's grab our stuff first. Wait, why do I have an engine in there? Oh, it's the engine. Okay, 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 okay. All right, everything's fine. All right. Oh my gosh. That guy is no joke. That guy is a beast of a bot. Okay, let's grab, let's grab this thing right here. Since this is right here. Uh, glow sticks. Okay, yes, I didn't really want, I don't, I don't really want this, but that's fine. All right, uh, let's be careful here. You gotta, wow, those things have some range. You know, I'm thinking maybe we need a spud gun before we really come in here and check anything out. Oh, but I really want to see what's in here. I also don't know if like you can actually even get in here right now. Uh, there's another tape bot over there. All right, let's let's be careful. There's another tape bot right there. I need. I think I need a spud gun. I think I need a spud gun to come over here. All right, you know what? I got my stuff. Um, I killed one tape bot. Oh my gosh. I mean, it was only a two hit. So if like, as long as it doesn't get me the first time, then I'd be okay, right? Yeah, because I would be I would be semi okay. Ah, oh, you know what? We gotta we gotta go look. Let me see. Can I just drop stuff off on this guy? <laughs> because I don't want to lose everything. Like if if I, you know, if I die and just have to come get my vehicle, that's one thing. And let's throw on my, uh, let's throw on my, my, uh, where's that big chest? We'll throw that in here for now. All right, let's, let's do it. Let's go look. Let's see what we got. Um, as long as I only take one on at a time, I think I will be okay. Oh man, I'm still surprised by how much damage that thing actually did. All right, let's see. So we got one right there. Is there only one? There's only one right there. Mmm, but there's another one right there. Okay, so we need to bring it around. We need to bring it around this way. So I have cover. Can we just sneak up behind it? Well, the problem is that those are really close. So if I if I interact with that one, it might trigger that one too. Oh. Oh, jeez Louise. Oh, he saw me. Oh. Okay, two hits. Oh, oh. I'm being shot. I'm under attack. Bob and weave, Bob and weave. I don't know where it's coming from. It's probably the other bot. Oh shoot! There he is. No! No! Oh! oh no! 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 I quit! I quit! Those things do so much damage. It's ridiculous. All right, you know what? We're not. We're not doing this right now. We're not doing this today. <laughs> I thought we would. I need a spud gun. I need a spud gun. It's got to happen. All right. So let's um let's get back over to the other side right there where the chemical plants are, or where that chemical plant is. And let's get some things put on that and see if we can't grab some chemicals that way. All right, we're safely back at home. Well, I say safely, but you know what? We've been getting attacked a lot lately. So uh, let's go ahead and pick that up. We're going to put that down right there. I'm going to throw this guy in here to keep it safe. Yep. And then maximum height, of course. 
wonderful and then let's go through the stuff that we got here and i think i'm just gonna walk over and place the things down for uh for the chemical stuff hopefully all right we should be good cleared out my inventory looking good let's get some food in us i'm not I'm, 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 just delicious all right let's go so i think i can pretty much head straight i think is it from straight back from this one it was super close i was actually really surprised how close it was i think we just head straight back this way i almost think you know i actually was looking through blocks so there's this really cool looking like metal path block that like glows i'm like ooh, that looks cool i'd love to throw up some path blocks the only problem is i think zomb I th are zombies oh my gosh i think the robots if i put like path blocks out here in the wild i think the robots would destroy them if i'm not mistaken so i don't think i want to do that all right let's just we're gonna keep running i'm not gonna fight anybody right now yeah it's right there there it is yeah super close by Ooh, giant tree hello there giant tree <gasps> oh what are these what are these what are these glowy plants oh they're just for looks darn it they were super cool looking all right so i think can we place blocks in here we absolutely can now is that gonna get destroyed by anything probably not it probably won't i imagine if i touch it it's not gonna be good so uh let's i don't like you know what i don't like the grass being here because it's super tall and hard to see if i was gonna get attacked it's fine okay so let's get uh let's get a vacuum pump in here uh that should work like that and then we'll get these guys in here so we'll put that right there we'll get our chest like that actually you know what let's let's test it we gotta see if we can touch it oh yep oh it's bad it's bad it's bad don't don't do that <laughs> it's bad all right we'll get that put there this to that and look at that we got chemical just roll it in guys we can make concrete infinitely as long as we have stone we have concrete that's amazing that's super amazing i'm super excited about that so now i can turn all my stone well a lot of my stone i feel like i'm gonna keep some stone you know for some stone stuff but um we should be able to turn into concrete just by using uh the chemicals in the water and that's infinite supply heck yeah now i could put a second vacuum pump over here and just like double the sucking power but um i'm not super worried about it i think it'll be just fine if this gets full up with chemicals uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of chemicals so all right there's that um man i really want to check that place out but we need the spud gun let's take a peek around here while we're while we're just kind of chilling um i'm almost thinking that this would make a, a good little base spot because your chemicals right there water's right there we could totally have like a little uh this could be like a concrete making area you know oh you just stopped that yeah there you go now come after me attack me man oh man that was tape bots i'm still just like i can't believe how much damage those things do so yeah because we have water right there we could put some water up we could put uh, the chemical would be right there. Mm. Of course, is it worth setting up a whole little base with a crafting bot and stuff like that just for concrete? I don't really think it probably is, honestly. Now, the only thing that would make this better is if we could somehow, somehow turn these chemicals and like chemicals and water and like stone or something like that into some usable uh, like fuel or something. I would love to know how to make batteries. Um, I would like to I would like to think that we should be able to craft batteries, but uh. Oh, there's a little spot right here. I should have put it over here. It's a little bit easier to see. Yeah, it's kind of more out in the open, though. More chance for bot attacks. Oh, geez, there's haybots over there fighting cows. Wait, how are they not taking damage? Shouldn't those things be getting wrecked right now? And those cows? What? Oh, that'd be kind of cool. You could build a base over this. Maybe that's why they don't take damage from it, though. That's probably why. Because if they did, you could build a base out in the middle of it, and they would never have to, they'd never get to you because they couldn't go through this stuff. Hmm. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab some of this stuff. I don't need a ton of it. I'm just going to grab that guy. I said I don't need a ton of it, but now I have a ton of it. Um, we're just going to leave that. Let it sit, do its thing. And uh, we're going to head back towards our base so we can make some more concrete. I am super excited about making that concrete. All right. So we got a ton of chemicals in here. Uh, the chemicals pretty much took <laughs> took up like everything. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking I might need to re uh, reorganize how this is laid out with these uh, these chests because like these are like the materials chest, you know, so um, I'd like to have all my materials in here but what do i need to make more of these things oh i can make a few let's go ahead one two three all right we're gonna make yep we're gonna make it happen i made all that glue all that stuff yesterday <laughs> let's do the stuff of things uh okay that's actually gonna be great so one of those chests is going to be um oh we need a produce delivery chest actually we need to go deliver some produce today too holy moly we got all kinds of things to do 
but I do want to redo this a little bit. I think we can make this a little bit better. And I don't know, I don't know if you have to have vacuum tubes to connect them. I don't think you do. Actually, what kind of vacuum? Do we only have straights and corners? I'm curious if, I'm curious because how would I connect multiple? Like, I wish there was almost a T, like a, a T vacuum port, you know? So you can have like, I can have a T on each one of these connected. Hmm. All right, well, while that one makes those other ones, let's go replace our water chest our water deal with uh with one of these chests because that's just gonna be so much faster uh to, well it's not gonna be faster but it's gonna give us so much more water capacity so when we need to fill up our water stuff we'll be good now one thing i really wish i really wish oil was collectible this way i tried on the stream to connect a vacuum pump directly over one of those oil nodes and it didn't wow you are just coming from a distance at me aren't you i really just wanted to attack me oh uh oh where are you going why does it look like you're going to... Oh, okay. Looks like he was about to attack from base. I was like, no attacking in the base, bad bot. Uh, but yes, we tried in the live stream to put a vacuum pump directly on an oil node, and it didn't work. We couldn't get it to work. It was just sucking up water. So um, I don't think oil is collectible. Oh, jeez Louise. I don't think oil is collectible that way. Is that guy seriously just like going to dip out? I think, oh, I was about to say, I was like, I think he's glitched. Oh, calm down. Jeez, taking shots over here. But yeah, so we tried, we tried to use the vacuum pump on the oil. It doesn't work. And it didn't surprise me either because oil is a collectible uh, type resource. So you actually have to go over there and click to pick it up and you like puts it directly in your inventory. So like, boom, right mouse button to pick it up. So um, yeah, it doesn't surprise me. It's not in a liquid form. It's not like sitting in a pool or a pond or anything like that. Unfortunately, I kind of wish there was. Maybe there is an area of like liquid oil. That'd be so nice. Cause I mean, it's in the same container as chemical. So maybe, maybe, I don't know. We'll have to see, but uh, okay. So there's that. And then let's go ahead and put that chest uh, directly on here like that. And let that bad boy fill up. Fantastic. Looks good. All right, cool, cool. So that's done. All right, so we have another chest and I think we need it over here because these things are getting like super full, super fast. So let's put this guy down. Let's take a peek at it. Let's look. All right, so we should be able to connect these via vacuum ports, but we can't only connect. I mean, I guess we could chain them if we connected each side from one to the other or from the front and then the side and then like a front and then a side or side to side to side to side. Maybe that might be our best rate or like our, our best like that might be our best bet maybe all right so i have a plan we've got a plan. object is busy what are you doing i have you now and i has all right so let's go ahead let's move these kind of over here out of the way a little bit let's just set down okay i want to place this guy like this and then i think we're going to place these somewhat like i need it to be on the bottom but on its side all right so like that that should be connected to that in theory it should be all right so we have the input into here because this machine has to be hooked up that way we can refine the things you know we don't have to worry about that uh and then we have the output of this chest into here so all we have to do is connect up these two two uh in between these guys now i don't think this is actually gonna be too terrible to do because we should be able to put one like that we'll put a uh, vacuum tube going right there and then if i put the other one like that, I think those ports are connected. And then all we should have to do is put it, oh shoot, is that gonna mess up everything if it's not right spacing? Okay, hold on. Let's get some, uh, let's get some of these guys. Uh, oh, it's cause it, <laughs> it's cause it's not connected. Uh, what do I need for those? Uh, glass and electronics. So I should in theory be able to put it, one there and then one here and those should connect those two. And then I should be able to do the same thing on this one, hopefully. Let's see here. So that should work like that. And then this one, we should be able to connect there. Hopefully we can change the distance of this. Wait, why is it so long? <laughs> why is it so huge? <laughs> that's so funny. All right. And then this one like that. And then maybe, oh, that's not going to work. All right. We're going to have to slide this one over. No, why did it change its orientation? That's terrible. That's going to have to be like that. And then this one should go that way. So these all four should be connected if this middle one's connected. Hopefully it is. Let's go and pull this guy up. Uh, and then we should be able to wait. What are you? You're sideways. We should be able to do that. And then do we have the stuff to make the stuff? 
possibly uh it's showing oil it's showing that it's showing our stone which is connected to heat oh no okay is it showing our embers yes it is okay so these are all connected <gasps> wonderful all right so there's that now we still need our output chest of course so we're gonna do the same thing same orientation i think like that so that's gonna be an output and then what I want to do, the, the top of the thing here, is I want to run a vacuum pipe from our output into this. That way, if we're crafting stuff, we don't have to, like, collect it. You know what I mean? Like, once it's made, it's good to go. So I'm going to need, uh, we're going to need two 90s, and we're going to need, oh, shoot. Do I have enough? Uh, I don't have water. Oh. Well, here, let me throw some water in. Let me throw it in this one. Make sure it's picking that up. Yeah, it is. Okay. So let's craft some of those. Uh, yeah, we'll make those. And then we're going to make a corner, a corner, and then a long vacuum tube. I'm hoping that it, this won't be in the way right here. Ooh, it might be, though. All right, so while I was making more stuff, let's go ahead and let's see if we can do this. I did that there, and uh, this one I might have to go to this side. Then that one there, is it going to let me put on? It's probably not. It's probably going to be in the way of the machine. Yeah, it's going to be in the way. Okay, so we're going to have to have straights on these going out first. Oh, you just hit Q to change the length. That's super cool. Wait, can this, okay, that rotates. This changes length. Oh, that's super nice. I like that. Okay, uh, I gotta get my sand. I gotta get these. I gotta put them back in here. So this is what I'm trying to combat right now is trying to take stuff, making stuff, having to take it out of here, put it back into this side. You know what I mean? Perfect. All right, so we have the vacuum pipes. Now, how far do I want this to go out? If I put that there, that should be good. In theory, that should work. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's grab uh, these guys. Where's that one? There's that one. Uh, let's go ahead and put this on here. Hey, yep, perfect. And then, uh oh, off the middle. Oh, oh, uh, oh shoot, that's the wrong length. There we go. Okay, that's the right length. And then this guy should go that way. This guy should be able to go there, and then we should be able to have one more pipe. Boom! We're good. We're absolutely fantastically amazingly good. Okay, so let's see. Do I have glass anywhere else in the system? So I like to, I want to test it. I want to see if I throw glass in the end. If I throw glass over here, we have 36. Parts interactive. Yes, it does work. <laughs> that is a quality of life upgrade right there, my friends. Oh, that's so nice. Now, I know people are going to be like, well, why don't you just connect your output directly to the vacuum so it goes back over here? Well, that's because I do want an output chest. So that way when I'm making like items like shocks and like things like that, like I'll be able to see them over here. But I also wanted to be able to grab from here if there are resources that we have refined. So um, I didn't want to throw, I didn't want to just immediately put it back in here because I'd be like, oh, which chest did it go in? You know what I mean? So it should in theory go in here. <gasps> that is so nice. Um, okay, that's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Now, unfortunately, you guys saw that I had everything painted red. But when you pick stuff up and place it back, it unfortunately loses its color change and so i had these red i picked them up on the back there you know and same with all this but this is pretty much good to go so we should be able to grab our paint tool right here let's go ahead let's go to uh let's go to a nice red color and just go ahead and squirt all these with red oh look at that we can even do these amazing this guy that guy that guy those can i walk on these oh i can oh am i out of ammo no, I'm out of ammo. Do I have any more? Do I have any more paint ammo? I do. I have 50. Okay. Haha. <laughs> there we go. All right. Uh oh. There we go. Perfect. Yes. I like it. We're doing the things. We're doing the stuff. Now, another fantastic thing about this paint tool is if you select the white color, you can actually paint your your lights. So the lights that you make, your headlights or whatever, they are the standard like orange color. Not great for seeing in the dark. But you could paint them white and then you can actually see in the dark. It's super nice. Um, I actually feel like I want to put some in here. I mean, we have this light, but it doesn't feel like it actually gives off that much light. But yeah, oh my gosh, things are upgraded. I mean, look at this place. It's not too shabby. I got to say, I'm liking it. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. But that is going to end this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Next episode, Um, we I think we're going to press... I think we're gonna press, we're gonna grow some stuff. We're gonna try to get ourselves a spud gun because I need a spud gun so we can spud gun the spud gun things. You know what I'm saying? We need to make it happen. But uh, yes, hopefully you guys had a fantastic time. Enjoy yourselves, enjoy your week, and I'll see you the next one.